Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to run Adobe Amos step by step on a Yamaha but it, typically you can use this for any uh, AVRs. So for those of you that know and understand that's good but this is for those who are not 100% sure how to run it correctly. Nevertheless this is videos for everyone so in this particular video when you're looking at the receiver that's facing you it's considered front left front right uh, rear left rear right so keep that in mind when the receiver or AVR is when you're facing it like like here that is considered front all right, so the next step is wiring it. Now, the position of your speakers, that's up to you guys. But typically, so you guys know that, make sure the positive and negative correspond. So, so you got front, right, front, left, just like I was telling you. So your speaker, when you're facing it, if it's front right, the speaker is going to be, when you're facing the receiver, like I was showing you earlier, your speaker for the right channel is going to be on the right side. And front left, it'll be on the left side over here. Okay, keep that in mind. So positive to negative, positive to negative, center channel, positive or negative. And for your next one, so you got your front, front, front right, front left. So you got two speakers in the front. Then you got your center channel, which will be in the middle. Now for your, for your back two, it's gonna be surround left, surround right right so you're gonna hook those up so now you're gonna have so that is your 5.1 or 0.2 right so you got your your right channel your left channel your 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 two back channels here that's those are gonna be your main 5.1s now for your your 5.1.2 for Dobly Atmos you're gonna use each receiver is a little bit, they say different things, but it's all similar. Now, for this particular one, it's, for this receiver, it's a 5.2.2. So that means that you have seven channels. So right now I got one, one channel, two channel, three channel, four channel, five channel. So those are your main ones. Now I want to run atmosphere, atmospheric, atmos channels. That's going to be your height channels. In this case, this is just a 5.2.2, .2, meaning I can only run two Atmos speakers in the f in the top in the height channels. For so for this one, uh, it'll say front presence. Okay, so then you're gonna hook up your your six channel and your seven channel on positive negative. So so you so the f for the left channel here, it's gonna be on your left. And the right channel here is going to be on your right. And depending on how you're going to set those on top, we're going to get into that um, soon on uh, conducting configuration. But as far as wiring goes, that is how you want to wire your 5.2.2 uh, .2 or 5.1.2 uh, Atmos surround. Now, for this one here, for this particular one, this is if I'm not going to run Atmos uh, speakers. If I'm gonna run surround back right, surround back left, so that is if you're not gonna run Atmos. But in this particular video, we're gonna do Atmos, and this is how you wanna uh, wire. You wanna wire to the your main front right, left, center, your surround left, and your surround right, and those are your five point ones, and then for your Atmos is going to be this then the next video will be how you set it up 
So typically that is the basis of that. All right, on next step, go to your settings on your AVR, your uh, receiver and go into your settings and find something that has uh, the mode or the option for your speaker types or something that pretty much uh, you're gonna have to tell your receiver how you ran your setup for your speakers. In this case, um, typically I am running front left, front right, those two channels. I'm running that in small. My center, I'm running small. Then your surround left, your surround right, I'm running that on small. Now, I'm not using the surround backs because I'm not doing a 7.2, I'm doing a 5.2.2 because we're running Atmos. So that would be none. Then I'm running high channels. In this case, I'm only running two high channels, which would be on for the for the front so you're gonna have to go into you're gonna find this um, some some receivers will say front front presence but it is pretty much your high channels and in this case I'm running the two high channels in and not just high channels the one I'm running is Adobe enable uh, speakers so I choose the option for Adobe enable uh, speakers and I'm running it on small but if you're not if you're not running a doubly enabled speaker, you're just running bookshelves or smaller uh, satellites. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that it says front presence. Um, if you're running um, if you're running it like uh, just in the high high up top, but in the front. But if you're running in the ceiling, you're gonna find the option that says you're running in the ceiling. And if you're running it firing down, um, most likely it's uh, front presence too but you get the you get the idea the gist of it so you pretty much <laughs> sorry about that that's my my little infant but uh, you pretty much tell that tell your receiver how you're running or how you want to run the channels and the position of your Adobe Atmos high channels and that is that is very important and I'm running uh, the dot two which is uh, two subwoofers and your crossovers, uh, if you don't know how to run your crossovers, I would uh, pretty much put at 80 for everything. Uh, and for your high your Dolby Atmos speakers or your uh, high channels, I would go higher on it. So that's up to you guys. But pretty much that is how you particularly want to run your Dobly Atmos uh, settings in surround sound. Now, as far as like how you want to run the channels and all that, and the levels and all that, you can just play around with that. But for this video, we're just I'm just showing you guys take step by step how you want to run your your speakers. And the the most important thing to remember is that. You have to go into your AVRs and tell the AVR what you're actually running or not running. Okay, so quickly, one last step is that, um, and plus does it help you optimize your Adobe Atmos? Make sure you guys download this app here, Adobe Access. Now, as far as I know, you can just download it only on uh, the Xbox console or a PC. But you want to download that Adobe Atmos or Adobe Access, and it'll it'll walk you through it. But quickly though, when you download that, up and that's that's how you're gonna optimize your sound. But on your device, in in this particular case, I am running the Xbox um, console here. You're gonna to want to go in your device here, find the options for your sound and make sure that on your sound make sure you're telling your uh, device or whatever it may be or blu-ray player or whatnot make sure that your device has Dolby Atmos enable um, 
are capable. So, and that is a pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hooded Dragons out. Thank you.